What iron shaft will work best for your game? Graphite or steel? Let's find out. Okay, so I'm here at Huddersfield Golf Club and I have two 7-irons and they are both Ping I-200s. Luckily enough, I have one in the standard graphite Ping Alta CB shaft in a stiff and I also have one in the Project X6 steel shaft. That's the shaft I would be fitted for if I was using these irons. I'm going to put these shafts head to head, I'm going to talk differences, I'm going to talk benefits of both of these shafts. So initially you might be thinking, well we need to be in the studio to check out the spin rates, the distances, all of the above. So let's do that. Okay we're here in the studio and I have the graphite shafted Ping I 200 and the steel shafted Ping I 200. Let's see the difference in the numbers, in the distance and the spin rates. Let's check it out. I'm going to hit a few with the graphite shafted iron first. Let's take a look with the standard steel shaft. Okay, we've hit a couple of shots in the studio with each. Let's have a bit of a roundup of the numbers. But I tell you what guys, let's do it outside. It's too nice a night not to. We don't get many of those here in England, do we? Okay, we're back out here on the golf course after being in the studio. What did I notice in the studio? So to be fair, a standard seven iron distance for me would be 165 yards. Give or take, good strike, bad strike. What did I expect? I must admit, I massively expected the graphite shaft to just go a lot further than the steel shaft. Whenever I've been teaching people in the past or been doing club fittings, like any professional will tell you, we take your club, we hit a few shots with it and we demonstrate. Whenever I demonstrate shots with a graphite shaft, it always feels amazing. It always seems to fly off there really, really well. Did I notice this when I was comparing them head to head in the studio? Absolutely not. Yes, the graphite felt lighter, the steel felt heavier. I could move this quicker, but it didn't seem to equate to more ball speed. The spin rate stayed very similar around 6,000, which for a 7-iron isn't bad, especially the I-200 range, it's got this perimeter weighting around it for the forgiveness. And I did get a few out there around 170 with both clubs. Needless to say, all of that is redundant because we need to test them out here on the golf course. I'm gonna put myself at 165-ish yards on a couple of different holes, hit both and check the difference in real life. Let's do it. First up, I'm on the eighth hole here at Huddersfield. It's about 160 yards. The flag's at the back. It's probably playing more like 170. I'm gonna have to really connect with this to get it back to the flag. Let's go graphite first and then steel. Graphite felt awesome, that should be close. Both of those felt like decent swings, the steel shaft went a tiny bit left, let's get up there and see where they are. So interestingly here, I've just got up to the green, you can see both golf balls here. The graphite shaft is the one fairly close to the flag and the steel shaft has actually gone long, which is surprising. I was thinking that if anything, graphite shaft would go longer than the steel shaft. Now we're only one shot in out on the golf course here, so I'm not gonna jump to any conclusion. That's definitely a surprise for me. If I was changing to graphite shafts, I would definitely be thinking of, of picking up a little bit of yardage, not losing it. Let's go find another shot and compare again. Flown over to the seventh fairway. This is downhill. So I'm put myself at about 175 yards. We've got a long way in. I'm gonna go steel shaft first, and then we're gonna go graphite. 
Let's see which one gets closer. Nice high draw, managed to move it off the lie. That's going to be flag high. Let's see how the graphite does. That felt just as good a shot. They both felt like good golf swings. Actually, the graphite shaft held its line and stayed out there. I tried to draw them both in using the lie with the ball slightly above my feet to help me. I managed it with the steel shaft and I didn't have the control I wanted with the graphite shaft. That could be a big negative for graphite shafts for better players. So what are the advantages of graphite shafts over steel? In the past, graphite shafts in irons could be quite cheaply made and they were no good. Now graphite has come on leaps and bounds and the shafts are miles better. There's even tour players using graphite shafted irons, notably Brant Snedeker, Matt Kucha and many others. In these pin clubs I have here, the black matte finish on this graphite shaft looks absolutely stunning and it's definitely something I could get used to looking at. These look premium. <laughs> Okay, so far, honours even with the graphite and steel. I'm out here on the first hole and we're into a little bit of wind. And now I'm going to try and fly the golf ball down. Let's see how much control I get with the graphite shaft as opposed to the steel shaft. I know I can play a knockdown 7-iron with a steel shaft all day long. Can I do it with a graphite? Let's find out. We'll go steel first, then we'll go with the graphite. <laughs> Just turned over a tiny bit too much on the lie, but I managed to flight that down beautifully. I was really happy with that trajectory. One thing has to be said, these Ping I 200s are very, very good. Let's see if I can flight the graphite down the same. Still managed to flight that down, and interestingly, it held its line a lot better. Maybe with the graphite shafts, I would be able to just aim straighter and hit straighter golf shot rather than trying to shape everything all the time and overcomplicate it. So who are graphite shafts really made for? Graphite shafts can be a great addition to your bag if you're a junior, a lady golfer, a senior golfer, pretty much most golfers who are going to want that little bit of help to gain speed through the shot. Graphite is a very light material. It helps you gain speed and in essence should help you gain distance. It can also be really good if you suffer with arthritis of the hands, of the arms, of the fingers. It can dampen any vibration on a miss hit so you don't get that nasty sensation in the fingers when you catch one a bit thin. It'll still feel fairly soft. I must say, hitting shots with this club tonight, I can really feel the benefit of it being lighter. However, when I tried to flight the ball down, I didn't enjoy the light aspect of it. I would rather have felt the weight in the steel shaft. So there's definitely pros and cons for both. Let's hit two more shots here and then we'll have a round up. Okay, we're gonna go graphite first, then we're gonna hit him with the steel. Two decent shots there once again. One thing that you have to take from this video is just how good the Ping I 200 is. What a golf club this is. Comment below if you'd like to see me do a full review on the Ping I 200. But what about steel and graphite? Is there such a massive difference which I thought there might be? To be perfectly honest, I don't think there is. The graphite definitely holds its line better and doesn't deviate in flight. The steel definitely feels more solid and I feel much more under control of it. Which one would I use? 
I'm really finding it hard to choose to be honest. I think I would go steel just because it's tried, tested and I've always done it. But I definitely would not be averse to putting the graphite shafts in the bag and trying them. Especially these ones because they look absolutely beautiful. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed that and I hope it's answered a few questions on what the difference is in your irons between graphite shafts and steel shafts. Please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.